and how's it going everyone welcome to i wanna warp the world the second marathon in the list of marathons on fun game marathons damn and Draino, the way he greets me is with a copy pasta so let's see, I recently 100% through the fire and flames on expert mode, since then I am no longer a virgin and will no longer be playing Toku and fun games, I hope you all live wonderful lives, goodbye then. Wow, that's a new one too. How is it going by the way? Wait, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Wow, I didn't know I could do this. Nice. Good shit. Uh, that's an interesting one. Well, we're gonna be playing I want a Super Wookiee. Apparently. And also, I don't understand why the version... Like, if you look at the top left, the version thing is cut off, but everything else is fine. I don't know. Whatever, that's not important. Hey Yami, how is it going? So let's continue with this. I think last time the world that we were in was a cave story or some shit like that. I mean, I'm asking because I don't know this. I never played cave story and if this is cave story, well, I wouldn't know. No, this is... wait, isn't that a, an enemy from Kirby? Isn't that a Waddle D or Waddle Do, whatever the fuck it's called? Huh? Didn't we already went to Kirby? Huh. That's weird. It is Kirby. Is it? It is, yeah. I mean, that's a... Uh, some Kirby looking stuff. Now, sadly, what am I supposed to do with this? Huh? I can shoot, in case you're wondering. Uh, what do you want me to do? Shift? No, that doesn't work either. Am I missing something? Um, man. This gimmicks in this game are out of control. I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do here. Sh yeah, I'm pressing the shoot button. It's not doing shit. What's the default shoot button? Is there a default C? No, it doesn't do shit. In fact, the shoot button in this whole stage doesn't work. Like, even outside of this it doesn't work. Maybe that's intentional, but here I'm pretty sure it's not intentional. Alright. Well, um... I guess I should reset this? I mean, I'm pressing every button imaginable and I can't do much, really. I'm also a little bit fearful of pressing every button imaginable just in case there is a button that is delete save or something like that. Nothing works. I'm... Nothing. Alright, well, let's reset. Maybe it's gonna work there. That's weird, though. It's already weird that you can't do anything by default. Like... It seems like... You know, you shoot cannot shoot be like right here. I can't shoot. Is that intentional? Is it intentional that I cannot shoot? Probably after you pick the power up. Yeah, but I can't. I don't know what button I'm supposed to press. Nothing works. Not being able to shoot is intentional, but you should be able to shoot again with the power-up. Well, doesn't look like it. It responds. 
A response. Is that also intentional? Try resetting the controls. Uh, is there a way to go to the main menu without, um, you know, closing the game? F2, okay. So let's go with F2. That's weird. Uh, enter options, yeah. So, do I just reset to default or something? I don't want to use the default controls though, but maybe we will see if this works. I don't even know. Let's see. Yeah, this is so uncomfortable to do. It doesn't work. I'm, I'm using the default controls, which I'm pretty sure it's seed, and it doesn't work there. Unless, tell me if it's another key, because this is not working. You use numpad, I use numpad, but that's not important now. The, the, what's important is that it doesn't work even with the default buttons. Yeah, they are reset, so... I don't get it. What's wrong with this? Is this a known bug or, or something? Pressing every button in the book. What? Wait, why did it work there? Huh? Wait, why did it work there? Why did I do different? And this controls fucking suck though. I will have to change it again. I don't know what I did there. Ouch. Let me see if I can do this with my controls then. I have to set them up again though. God damn it. Uh, okay, so. Uh, this was. Oh, this is gonna be a fucking pain in the ass. Right, up, down, six, five. And E. Okay. That should be fine. So let's see now. But it's not about buttons. Yeah, the, the sprite changes, so it's not about controls. There is something wrong here by default. Like, something is... It works there, alright. I don't know what the deal is with this shit. Now it works. Wow. Uh, sure. I don't mind. Man. This is what happens when... I mean... When you have so many fucking gimmicks... I mean, shit like this is bound to happen, you know? Though, I forgot what to do with this. I'm probably supposed to go back, but I forgot if there was something on the other side or something like that. Let me check. Uh, let me see. I really forgot what was before this, so... I don't know what to expect. Not that. Damn it. So this is only active for a specific amount of time. It's not about how much you hold it, it's about a, a pretty specific timing. Well, I don't know if timing or distance, because it stops a, as soon as you get to a, to a wall. Alright, so this is what you needed to do. I probably shouldn't have saved there now that I think about it. But hey, there is another save here, so don't worry about it. Uh, there is something down there, but you cannot redirect this in any shape or form, so we gotta keep going. You cannot cancel it either, that's important to know, so you need to measure, measure, whatever, the distance properly. That's fine. And I feel like this game had a shit ton of, of gimmicks and it, it just keeps going. What? Urgh. 
Okay, so this is what I'm supposed to use to go down. Alright, I can do that. Is this asshole gonna kill me? Well, not anymore. <laughs> okay. So don't pick that up, remember it. Hey, small sea cat, who is it going? No, I'm playing the second marathon game. So, so far, I gotta say that this game has been pretty weird in a lot of ways. And I don't just mean that because my controls, well, not my controls, but the game decided to bug. Not just for that, it's like, it's just weird. It has a lot of weird things. Uh, like, you know, a lot of gimmicks that basically turn the game into a complete different game. But it is what it is. I mean, apparently that is the way it's meant to be. And that's fine. Oh, you can cancel that. Really? Damn. You get obliterated there. So you can... It seems like you can only cancel it when you have a block. Not in me there. I like wacky fun games that change stuff up. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm really a big fan of that myself, but... I mean... Mostly because when I play fun games, uh, obviously I wanna be the guy fun games. I expect, you know, a lot more uh, platforming, right? Like the platforming that... Damn, Bomber? The platform... Sorry, I can't talk today. The platforming that fan games are so known for, right? That's usually what I expect, but, you know. I guess it's nice if you are way too used to, to the I wanna be the guy platforming and you want something new. In that case, well, it makes sense to want a, a little change. But when it comes to um, when it comes to a noob like me, kind of have the expectation of oh fuck! I didn't know this asshole was gonna come here. Ah, oh, and you made me destroy my only platform to go up. Fuck you! But yeah, it's fine though. I mean, could have been worse. Damn, those guys really take a long, a long time to to come with a with a revenge attack. Really take a long time, huh? And I just fucked myself up again. Well, maybe I can. F no, I don't think I. Nah. Damn it! So it seems like that bomb has a uh, has an area of three three times three. That's fine. I I can do I can do that. As long as I don't spam like a dumbass, I can do that. Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it! Are you gonna die there? Why are you gonna die there, bro? Just dodge the spikes. Oof. Okay. We gotta be careful with this motherfucker. He has no good intentions. There we go. Nice. And a bouncing spike. Sadly, you cannot bomb. Oh no! Fuck. I really fucked it up. Maybe not. Let's see. Nice. 
We're in. We're in. Okay. We're still in. Have to bomb these motherfuckers though. Nice. Slowly but surely. Now this is gonna be a problem though. Gotta be especially careful with what I do here. I mean, it seems like a pretty basic. Yeah, it's a pretty basic jump. My internet was out a few days ago, and I play a Toho game I had lying around my PC, and shit's awesome. Yeah, Toho games are pretty good. I I'm curious, which one was it? Also, hey, how is it going, Riemann? Damn, I didn't know that you could lay bombs like that. It's not even worth it, though. Okay, run. New personal best. Yeah, I know. I, I seen it. Uh, I seen it, Riman. You don't need to repeat yourself. Toho 10. Oh yes, Toho 10 is my my favorite Toho game. Toho 10 Mountain of Fate is it's beautiful. It's a beautiful game. A lot of people really, you know, don't like it that much, and for pretty valid reasons. After all, the game is a bomb fest. So, it makes sense why people don't like it, but it's my favorite uh, Toho game since it's the first one that I've been able to to one coin clear on normal, so it really holds a pretty, pretty dear place in my heart, just because of that. The fuck is this? Oh, Ryu! Yeah, I can short you can. You jump pretty high. And get sure you can waddle do. Hey, what about giving me a save point? That would be pretty nice, right? There we go. Toho Tennis Kusoge Dim, how dare you? How is it going Simu? What's the deal with spell with spell cards? Spell cards, well. They are shoes attacks that have names, and if you don't bomb it and don't die, you get a, a score bonus. That's what spell card means. Nothing more, nothing less, pretty much. That's just what a spell card is. Which, you know, it's nice. But it's not really something that you really have to think about. Like, if you're just playing the game, just for playing it, right? I mean, spell cards have more of a characterization significance and obviously, well, a scoring significance than anything else. But if you're playing for survival, capturing spell cards is not necessary at all. So, you don't have to worry about spell cards too much. They are really nothing special or wait is this Marisa yeah I know that not every magician is Marisa I know I know most games spell card capture bonus is irrelevant yeah there is also the fact that in a lot of games it's better to farm some spell cards or, you know, just bombing the bullets than actually capturing spell cards for scoring. So, you know, spell cards are just like more of a story and, you know, yeah, more than a story thing than anything else. Since, you know, the whole lore about spell cards in, in the game history, in the game story, I mean, is that they are there so people who are not strong can uh, fight against people that are strong because spell cards are not about which one is the strongest but it's about which one is the prettiest and the most creative you know a pretty silly story that nobody gives a shit about pretty much but if you were curious well that's the lore behind spell cards Let 
main characters keeping Gensokyo from falling apart so everyone needs to attack with burns that are possible to be dodged because if she dies everyone will die. No, that's uh, that's not true, Simu. That's something that a fan game did and a lot of people think it's canon because, you know, in Toho fan game things, fan fanon things are canon for a lot of people. But yeah, no, that's not canon. I mean, it, it, the, the thing about, you know, being, having patterns to be able to be dodged and that, that part is right. But no, uh, Gensokyo is not falling apart and Reimu is just a Shrine Maiden. She's not keeping Gensokyo together. Uh, the thing that is keeping Gensokyo together is the is the the great barrier that Gensokyo has, which sure is being guarded by the Hakure Shrine, but it's not really that special. That full meat so bad it actually sounds right for Toho. Yeah, well, if that. You know, in all honesty, if that was the reason, um, that would be more interesting than the actual reason. Like, for real. Like, the actual reason of, you know, so everyone gets a chance or shit like that, that's so fucking whack. That's the actual reason, believe it or not. Ah, oh, fuck. Too much momentum. Oh, yeah. oh, I have to do all this shit again. God damn it. But that's fine, I mean... It's not really your fault, Simu. It's something that... You know, there is a lot of people that don't play the games and start saying wrong shit thinking that they are right. And when someone that is not, you know... So, that doesn't care about the lore, like, pretty much anybody, because the lore is trash. Uh, but, you know, it's pretty easy to get full onto what uh, is canon and what's not, because there is a lot of misinformation. So, it's not your fault. I mean, you can read something in, you know, our Toho, people talking about this character being this other character's mother. And someone that doesn't really know much about the Toho lore, it's like, damn, this character is this other character mother? Well, no, it's not. It's just people having their fantasies leaked. Um, we call them secondaries. Nah, it's fine. It's just people that try to fit in. Because the problem is, when people are, like, they say stuff like that, and they are like, yeah, I'm sure that that's the case. Which is not the case here for Simu. Simu actually mean, actually say, don't quote me on that, because he wasn't sure. But there are people that are like, you know, yeah, this is like this, and I'm sure of that, even though it's complete bullshit. So yeah, there is a lot of people like that in in Toho, <laughs> sadly, but it is what it is, at some point you get used to it. Are you all familiar with the tame Borthos? I don't know what Borthos is, no. Is that a game? Shinki Alice? No, even worse than that, because at least Shinki Alice has a reason, right? I mean, Shinki Alice is plo it's possible, I mean, not in the mother sense, of the human mother sense, right, but in the, in the sense of Shinki creating Makai and in consequence creating the residence of Makai, that part makes sense. No, I'm talking about word stuff, like people saying that Shunko is Glompi's mother. And even if, you know, even if they are not saying it in the sense of Shunko being, you know, 
the literal mother. They are saying it in the sense as if Shunko gave a shit about Clone Piece, which is, as far as I know, it's not true. Shunko doesn't give a shit about Clone Piece. I mean, Shunko doesn't give a shit about anyone other than Chang E. That's the whole point of Shunko. She's a spirit of revenge. Anything else is irrelevant for for her. Even Hecatia is semi irrelevant. It's just that she's useful. Uh, so, what is Borthos, Simu? I mean, you mentioned Borthos. You didn't tell me what it is. Wow, what is the range on that? I have to go a lot more to the right. Damn it. Wow, that actually killed me. Again, my play Magic the Gathering, the devs have turned for their player psychographic profiles, which is just a fancy term for player archetypes. Bortos is the player who cares about flavor? Flavor? <laughs> and what is flavor? You mean they care about what ice cream they like? I'm assuming flavor means something else in that context. They care about flavor, huh? It's an interesting... Fuck! It's an interesting concept. The stories that are told by the spell cards. Wait, so Mashik also has the spell cards? Well, probably they are literally spells, not like Toho that they are just sorry ass attacks. But that's interesting. Didn't know that. Well, in Toho, basically, the. The background and the personality of the characters is also told through through spell cards a little bit. Not that much, but each boss in Toho 12 has a gimmicky bullet spy related to their character design. Rasa's gimmick bullets have a round hitbox, but they have an anchor sprite on them. Some spell card even retract by to spawn spawn point as you might imagine an anchor will retract when its chain is reeling. Borthos love that. This makes sense flavor. Okay. Uh sure. I mean I don't well in Toho 12 case you know, now that you mention it, you might be right in Toho 12's case. Except for... Wait. What bullet type has Byakuren that is exclusive to her? I, I know about the others, I mean, Nasrin has the diamonds. Kogasa has the umbrella, Sichirin, or well, I should say Unsan has the fists. Um, wow, that didn't kill him? Son of a bitch. No, I mean, yes, I know that obviously every spell card has something about the character. I'm just specifically talking about the bullets here. And having an exclusive bullet... Yeah, it... I think Byakuren is the only one that doesn't have an exclusive bullet type in UFO. Maybe. I don't know, I don't remember. The thick lasers? That's not Byakuren exclusive. <laughs> ah, It is? Wait, you mean on the Makai spell card? The, you mean the Makai spell card? Because those lasers... They are... 
Damn, this motherfucker using acronyms again. God damn it, Riemann. This motherfucker uses acronyms that only he understands. I think they are in that... Yeah, devil something, but come on, bro. Nobody remembers that. Nobody gives a shit about the spell card names, and here you're giving me a fucking acronym about a spell card name. Can you fucking believe it? Can you believe it? Like, are you actually reading this motherfucker? DR! DR, I can't fucking believe it. Yeah, try that shit on my DR. Hey Nitori, how is it going? The point of the spell curse is to appeal to people's sense of Borthos. Yeah, maybe. What's wrong with DR? DR can mean a lot. You know, DR, the first thing that I that my mind processes when when I read DR is uh, Devil's Resurrection, which is Tekken's 5 B PS3 PS3 version. It's called like that because it has Shinpachi, which is the final boss as a playable character. Motherfucker wanting me to guess what the fuck the R means in a Toho context. God damn it. Oh, I can't. I can fight this asshole, right? Okay, I'm gonna just ignore this. Ah, oh, fucking waddle D or waddle do. Are these waddle D's or waddle do's? I don't know. I didn't play too much Kirby to give a shit. So can someone give me an insight on that? So I can insult them properly. You know, when I insult enemies, I want to make sure I'm insulting them properly. Oh, this is the bomb one. Wow, are you telling me I have to bomb this shit while I'm getting shot? Wow. Ooh, that was pretty close. Oh, fuck me. Ah, oh, go down. There we go. Oof. Wait, what the fuck is this? Alright, I'm assuming I cannot go there. Are you happy of your chat? Man. It seems like on weekends people like to ask stoner questions. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's not just on weekends, it's every fucking day. Uh, in a via current content really narrows it down. Yeah, I know, but I just don't like uh, when people use acronyms most of the time, unless they are universally agreed acronyms or things that I know. Like, you know, if someone tells me PDH, yeah, I understand what PDH is. But like, you know that I understand it because of how many times I mention it. The problem is that this toner here, Riemann, sometimes he mentions acronyms about things that I have no idea they even exist. And he pretends me to know. He pretends like I will know what the fuck he's talking about. Uh-oh. Am I dead? Is there even a way to get out of this? Oh. Annoying motherfuckers. Oh, really? Wait, what am I supposed to do? Whatever. The thing is... It's pretty useful. Because this is something that even... 
uh, you know, schools and a lot of other institutes uh, fail at. You know, a lot of schools, uh, uh, like a lot of studying material, when you're studying a topic, they give out acronyms a lot of times that they never explained before. So they expect you to memorize something without even knowing what it is. So I feel like that's a problem that is not just limited to... Like it's not even limited to to stoners like Riemann. It's something that... Like... You know, institutes are already guilty of that. Like, you know, there is a lot of times where... For example, when you're studying about networking and you see something like TCP. Sometimes, some... Um, some books... It's like, they mention TCP and they never tell you what it means. So you have to either guess or Google yourself that it actually means transfer control protocol. Because... You know, sometimes it's not even guaranteed that they will tell you what it means. So yeah, my point is, acronyms are trash unless you put the meaning right next to it. Otherwise, it, it basically doesn't fulfill its purpose as an acronym, which is just abbreviating the meaning, because you're not abbreviating shit, you're just giving me letters. And a lot of times, when I was studying for, for university and shit, a lot of times I basically studied concepts that were represented by acronyms and I never knew what the acronym was even supposed to mean and I pass because I don't need to know apparently what it means according to to the teachers doesn't matter I mean as long as you know that there is something with this acronym that's fine and then when someone asks you what the fuck does that mean you will be like, oh, well, it means, uh, you know, it, uh, yeah, and you will look like an idiot. So basically, yeah, use acronyms properly. Isn't the R in Toho 5? It is. It's just that since there were no spell cards in Toho 5, um, well, it wasn't called Devil's Return or whatever the fuck the name in Toho 12 is. Regets NFA DFA. I know what Regets is. I don't know about NFA DFA though. Well, at least Regets in my context as a programmer it usually means regular expression. Maybe it doesn't even mean that in this context, who knows. Obviously regular expressions are not, you know, exclusively tied to programming. But they are pretty useful to, to handle a strings, a string of characters. It does, nice. Don't know about the other two though, NFA, DFA. I'm assuming those are names of algorithms. Non-deterministic finite automata. Okay, so they are names of algorithms. Nice. Jesus, that was so close. Okay, so now I can go the other way. Oh, I have to spam. Oh! Finally, damn, that section was pretty annoying. Thankfully, it's over by now. Wait, I have to short you again here? Alright. I wonder why. It doesn't seem like I need to short you again 
in the eyes, though. Oh, not algorithms? Baby Turing machines. Oh, interesting. Fucking programmers. You know you're a programmer too, right, Riemann? Just reminding you. Just in case that so many acronyms have affected your brain that you are a programmer. You know? See, look at this power-up. It almost looks like it says re. But it doesn't really say re. I'm the most acronyms I could into one though and this is what came up nice I thought you will know this as a programmer nah I mean I'm a programmer but I'm a web developer so it doesn't really count I mean I'm not a programmer in the sense that I am a um, like, I'm not a computer engineer, I'm just a web developer, that's it. So I know how to program, but I don't know much of the theory behind it. Mostly, well, firstly because I didn't do the career for engineering, I made the, the career for programmer. And secondly, because I really don't give a shit. <laughs> I got a... If I have to be honest. Oh, those things don't move. Alright. Theoretical computer science. Oh, I see. Mathematical computation. Yeah, I'm just, uh, like my... I don't even know if I should call what I got a degree, it's not really a degree, it's more like a, a tetrary title or whatever the fuck it's called on on your respective country, right? But basically it's... yeah. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to go up here? Oh, I am. But yeah. Well, I mean, the name of the of the title I have is pretty cool, but it basically just means that I know how to program. Uh, I think the translation of my title will be something like... Um, it will be... Programming Superior Technician. Something like that. If you had to literally translate it to English, that's what it will mean. Though, it, I mean, it's pretty fancy and everything, but it just means that I know how to program. <laughs> that's it. Wait, why will I blow this up? Do I have any reason to blow this up? Oh, alright. Uh... Oh, I have the short you can. Wow, what an asshole. Well, technically I also have another title because you know, the the thing that I studied was basically two different courses. The second one is pretty much optional, but you could do it because it was just one more year. And that one is called... Um, who will be the translation for this? Um, I think it will be something like computer system uh, superior technician or something like that. And this motherfucker has to go down. There we go. So now we just gotta go 
the other way. Mmm, this looks bad. Yeah, well, we... What? Nice. So... Where am I? Oh, I almost fucked it up. So I... Wait, what did I do? I changed that into... Is that the shorty you can? Or what is that even supposed to be? It is the shorty you can. And why the fuck would I want this? Oh, to go up there. But what happens if I die here? Well, nothing. I will just go back to the... To the save. Alright. So now I have to blow everything up. I can do that. Boom. Finally, Jesus. Ooh, and the lack of music tell me that there is gonna be a boss here. A DFA shoots a graph series of dots and lines with an alphabet for the nose. All DFAs can be represented as regular expressions and vice versa. Okay. Good to know. Wait. It's getting dark in here. Mm, it's getting increasingly darker. Huh? Are we gonna fight King DDD's nuts? No, Meta Knight. Okay. Wow. I can throw bombs. I think I like throwing bombs. Wow. He also likes throwing himself as a bomb. Interesting. Okay. Team, that's pretty fast. You have to land... Well, I can actually use the other power up there. The one that makes me fast land, though. I don't know if I will need it. Let's see. Mmm, I think I need the fast landing there, because if I don't use it, seems like it's pretty hard to not get obliterated by this asshole. Okay, let's pick it up. Well, <laughs> if I'm gonna pick it up, I have to do it pretty fast. Or at least I have to give up on damaging him further. So basically, just pick it up here. Oh, but you also have to cancel that. Maybe it's not that useful. Well, we will see. I mean, technically you can dodge this. By just doing that. Oh, you can be fast enough. Never mind. What's this? A lot of swords. And that's a lot of swords. What else do you have? Oh, you're not gonna show me. Damn it. Well, you can just do the, the two shams pretty quickly and it's not gonna be a problem. You gotta do them fast enough. Uh oh. I don't think I can reach you even with the short you can up there. I can probably reach you there though. Hmm, but I can't even... Should I go for the short you can here? Is it even worth it? Well, he doesn't seem to be doing... Fuck. Alright, maybe the short you can wasn't worth it there. God damn it. Son of a bitch. Oh, that's a lot of damage, though. Seems like you can farm a lot of damage from these first two phases. Alright. That's fine by me. 
I don't really like the fact that this shit has this angle. It means that you can shoot from whatever direction. Though honestly, you know, you could have made this fight having the normal, you know, the guy shoot, right? The, the normal shot. Uh, whatever. I guess I can throw a couple of bombs. Wow, still kill me. Damn it, Meta Knight. You're being a bitch. You can almost get him to half health with that. Fuck. This is not washing machine. Hey, let's not get ahead of ourselves. You never know, you know? It could be washing machine. Not now, but maybe later. So, should I ignore the short you can? Because last time I used, I used it, I ended up getting fucked anyways. But it doesn't seem like he has any intention to stop. So maybe I do have to pick the short you can. Didn't work last time. Maybe it will work this time. But why will it work this time? But as you can see, he really has. He doesn't seem to have any intention to stop. So I should try it at least well yeah the problem is trying it I, I actually got killed by the fireball there so god damn it Problem is that I'm pretty sure he's gonna make me use every power in the book, and that's gonna be a fucking pain in the ass. I can already see that. You're gonna make me use the fire, and you're gonna make me use the rock. They are both gonna suck. Alright, shoot it again. Nice, get sure you can. What else do you have? Oh, I need the... Come on, bro, you just can't put an image of what I gotta get. And you're not gonna give me enough time to actually get it. God damn it. Son of a bitch. Especially when it's in the opposite corner of the screen. Why don't you just automatically switch me to the power I need? That will be better. I mean, it's not like it's a strategical what power you're gonna pick. Like, you're gonna pick the power that you need. It's not even about preference. I thought it was over, that's why I delayed that shunt more. But it seems to be five of those. Alright. Wish I could farm more damage there. Well, you can. If you're good enough, you can probably farm damage there. Come on. Come closer, bitch. 
Okay, so I have to pick the fire. No, the fire, fuck. Alright. I pick the fire, but I think you have to be in the... Yeah, in the... Okay. Man, that's so fucked up, dude. You pick the fire, and when you fall down, you pick the shore you can instead. God damn it. Who the fuck designed this fight? Yeah, I know, I can jump through the shore to you. That will be the idea. It's just that it's still pretty dumb. Because when you're in a hurry, you will try to pick it up just like that instead of, you know, trying to get below the shore you can choose to get the. Man. You know? I don't think this fight is gonna be that hard or, you know, even that exceptional. But the thing is, I can already tell you that I don't like this fight. Just don't like it. The way it's designed, I don't like it. Especially, as I said, like, you're making me pick power-ups that are necessary. It's not like I can choose which one I want to use. No, it's not about what I want, it's about what the boss wants. So why don't you should switch the mechanic instead of making me pick it up? Okay, that's third one. Uh, second one. Second one. Damn, this shit barely does any damage. Which one should I change to now? Huh. Maybe I need the, the, the rogue one there. Damn it. The bomb does a lot of damage though, but I'm pretty sure that in that sequence at the end you're supposed to use the rock to avoid the tornadoes, or, well, I'm assuming, because I don't know what else to use. this up. I still don't know why this does such a shitty amount of damage though. Like look at that damage. At least I can damage him here. Oh maybe I'm supposed to kill him before he even does the, the tornadoes. Maybe the tornadoes are impossible to dodge. Eh, probably not but Wouldn't be the first fun game boss that has a limit to be killed, and if you don't reach that limit, you're fucking dead. When I say limit, I mean time limit. But yeah, th that will make sense, I guess. Oh. Just like Wings of B. You know? I actually, except for Miyogi, obviously, there aren't many bosses from Wings of B that I actually remember. No, I actually do remember them. Now that I think of it, on second thought, I'd act I actually remember them pretty well. Never mind. I do remember them. But, yeah. they bas you, you basically had to kill them pretty, pretty fast because they became a fucking pain in the ass. It's not like they were immortals. They were just a f really a pain in the ass. And this is not as much damage as I would like to have. 
What happens if I use short Yuken for that attack? Am I even able to? Damn, I still die there? Son of a bitch. Guess you need to do a double jump no matter what. Decision. Didn't cost me anything though. Alright. So for the last pattern, it really is just remembering. To double shunt. There we go. Get on. Should I go there? Yeah. Nice. Uh. Beautiful. So. Oh, we're back to I wanna be the guy. That should Sogrim both design in a nutshell easier to speedrun that to outlast till they loop. Oh shit. I actually <laughs> outlasted Solgrim because I don't know who to speedrun. What the fuck is this? What? Okay, I'm assuming... I'm supposed to bounce there. Maybe not. Huh. This is weird. To say the least. By the way, just in case, well, I'm pretty sure you will you will find out yourself, but it's not the f you know, the, the sound is not glitching because my computer sucks, it's glitching because, well, as you can see, it's supposed to have everything being glitching. I don't know what jump I should do after that, though. I don't think and using the bubble doesn't seem like Oh shit. Nice. I guess I was supposed to do that. Oh, come on. You're really gonna die there. You know, my ears are not happy about this, you know. My ears are complaining a little bit right now. Wait, what am I... Am I supposed to go down? What? No? Where the fuck am I supposed to? Oh, maybe I'm not supposed to go right, I'm supposed to go left. Okay. I 
And I understand that this is supposed to go for the glitch uh, the kind of thing but it, this is really killing my ears quite a lot you know Where is this jump supposed to be? Oh like that Son of a bitch. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen, but... Wow, I should have used the, bu the bubble there. The problem is that if I'm supposed to... Um, to be retrying this over and over again with this music... As background, that's gonna be a problem. Because this is pretty bad for focusing. I mean, usually you don't feel it. Because usually video game music is made to be as non distracting as possible. So you, most of the time, you don't really notice. But music can really affect the way you play in video games. So, something like this, that it's obviously intentionally made to be a, a cacophony, right? Like something that sounds bad, it is pretty bad for focusing, I gotta tell ya. Maybe I should decrease the volume a little bit. You should play I Wanna Be the Weston Douglas Jones. I don't even know who Weston Douglas is. Or Douglas, I don't even know who that's pronounced. Isn't that a Sudoku game? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's some garbage. Nice. Fuck. Alright, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna mute this on my side. You can still listen to it. Or wait, can you actually listen to it? That's the question. Can you listen to the music there? Because I basically muted it on my end. You can? Okay, that's perfect. Press Ctrl M and save. It usually works. I don't even know what that is. Take off my headphones. No, I mean, I can choose. I mean, here's the thing. OBS captures video and sound. And you can basically capture sound and have your own sound. The one on your own mixer be completely over. Completely muted. But the stream can still hear it, which is the point. Also, who is it going all on? Yeah, but here's the thing, Yami, I don't want to turn the music off for everyone, I just want to turn it off for me. Unless you also want me to turn it off. You want me to turn it off, I can turn it off. But, no, I, I just meant turning it off for me because I just can't stand uh, this shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just too distracting. I mean, that doesn't mean that I'm gonna do it on the first try or anything like that, but at least I will be able to be a little bit more focused. Yeah, it, it's fine. I mean, you can have it. Don't worry about it. I remember I, I, I also did that. Remember in Not Another Needle Game there is a section with Miku? And basically, she's singing the... I think she was singing the Levant Polka 
but it was also a pretty hard platforming section so I was like there is no way I can concentrate on this shit if I'm listening to this so what I did is just mute it for me but keep it for the stream so that's basically what I'm doing here I have music completely muted for me but you can hear it so that's a win-win really it's a win-win I was gonna put some Lennon music, but, you know, the problem is that I don't, well, actually, I could if I wanted to, I think, like, if I, I'm not sure, though, I will have to, nah, probably not, because what I'm capturing right now as the audio is not the, you know, it's not the same as the video capture, the, the audio capture is basically just, um, it's the desktop audio, right? So basically, if I wanted to put music only for myself without the stream listening to it, I don't think I will be able to. And if I do it, I will have to do it in a pretty specific way, and that will require investigating, and I'm not gonna investigate about that shit now, so... I'm getting obliterated here. Really, really getting obliterated by this. This really reminds me a lot of needle games, which is bad. Alright, so what do I do here? Do I just go this way and then what? Do I go back? Well, not like that, but are you really making me go back all the way and do this again? I really hope you teleport me before that happens, because if you don't do that, you're a fucking asshole. I'm just gonna say that right now. Go to where you were the first time. But that's where I spawned from. Unless you mean go to the save point here. Is that what you mean? No. Alright. I mean, this is where I warped the first time. So why would I want to come back here? There is no reason to. It's not gonna warp me anywhere. Fuck. And it's pretty interesting because having the music turn off I actually can hear my key presses pretty well, in fact. Pretty nice. I usually don't hear my key presses. Since I'm using a membrane keyboard, obviously membra membrane keyboards in general are pretty quiet, so, you know, it's hard for you to listen to it. You go to the bottom middle, it works you to the second level, then you get to the top, it works you to the bottom middle. Yeah, I don't think I understand what you're saying, but sure. It's fine, don't worry, I'm gonna eventually... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, also, is the music still going on? Because, let me know when the music, the glitch of music stopped. It is still going on, alright. Well, let me know when it stops going on, just so I can unmute it. Yeah, I know, it makes you do the whole screen out of order. Huh, nice. That was pretty fair. Okay. Oh, 
I'm not even supposed to go down there. Okay. Left or right? I'm assuming I have to go right. The game is gonna be like, oh, you wanted to go to the exit? Well, too bad, she baited. So I guess I'm supposed to go to the right. If I go to the left, I'm probably gonna waste time. But I gotta say that it's pretty interesting, you know, to know about the, you know, the different tastes that people have, right? Because when I started playing this uh, fun game, uh, Draino told me that this was his favorite one. And I definitely can tell you that, well, assuming that this is the last level, and I'm assuming this is the last level, um, I didn't like this fun game, well, I I'm not gonna say at all, but I, I just didn't like it. <laughs> I feel like it has too many gimmicks for its own good. Uh, like, you know... At some point, the gimmicks, to me at least, they are just uh, unwelcome. It's like, no, I don't want to have... Like, I I I'm playing uh, and I want to be the guy funny. I'm not fucking playing Doom. Or, you know, whatever other game it made me play, it, Terraria or whatever. It's like, I, I get it. You need to have a little bit of a change, right? Like, you need to kind of... Um, switch it up so you know it gets um, like it's a new and exciting right so, and it obviously takes you by surprise because you're not expecting that for a marathon game that's obviously pretty valuable but I mean I really don't like that when a game has too many gimmicks Having a couple of gimmicks is fine. In fact, Boshi, which is a game that I really like, it had quite some gimmicks in it, but they weren't taking up the majority of the game. They were just in specific areas. And they were usually isolated, right? In the sense that, you know, it didn't really affect the overall flow of the game. In this game, however, everything Every stage had a pretty different gimmick because one thing is making something like I want to find my destiny where every stage had a specific theme but the the controls were the standard I want to be the guy controls it's just that one of them had like a, a climbing mechanic another one was full of water right all of that so that's fine because you're still using the standard controls just in different situations like the player controls are not being affected it's just what's surrounding you what's getting switched so that's fine but in this game the whole idea of the game changes in every stage Probably because I speed run it, maybe. Irony is I had the marathon games on my list on this score, but I label it as too gimmicky, not fun game. Yeah. That's what all the later marathon games do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm gonna like that. That's gonna be a problem. <clears throat> This game was for a life. Yeah, I know that, but <coughs> sorry. <coughs> the thing is, you're saying that the gimmicks were to test the racer's adaptability. Adaptability to what? Like, isn't this supposed to be a fun game marathon? Like, why does it matter if the runner knows how to play Doom or not? Like, it has nothing to do with fun games. Right? I mean, it's 
cool, right? It's cool to see that you can make Doom run in a in an I wanna be the guy fun game. Yeah, that's obviously cool. Props, props to that, right? But I mean, it's like I don't think that's testing anything, or rather, it's testing. It's not. It's not testing your your fun game, or at least your, you know. I wanna be the guy fun game skill or whatever because it has nothing to do with it fuck lots of fun games like games like this just spike jumps is boring for most of them um yeah well <laughs> I mean if spikes is boring for most of them, I mean, shouldn't you be playing a different game? <laughs> Maybe? That's like saying that I play Toho, but seeing a lot of bullets is boring. Like, what? No, I play Toho because I like dodging bullets, thousands of them. So, if for some reason the new Toho game, instead of having thousands of bullets that you're supposed to dodge, it becomes, I don't know, um, it becomes a, I don't know, a Sudoku game, and when I say Sudoku, I mean the actual Sudoku, you know, the one with the numbers, uh, it's like, I'm not gonna like it because it's different, because what I like is dodging bullets, right? I mean, if I play Toko, it's because I wanna dodge bullets, not because I wanna play Sudoku. And I think the same logic applies to I wanna be the guy fan games. Like, I wanna, I, I play these games because I like the way the the controls and the way the the fan games are usually thought. Like, for example, the classic and basic double champ and shoot shooting like this really really basic control uh, shim is pretty nice to me and the fact that you can put all sorts of challenge around those controls is what makes this fun games uh, exciting to me if all of the sudden you you know, you should throw Doom into the game, it's like, sure, it's cool, again, I'm not saying that it's not cool, or that whoever did it doesn't deserve props for that or anything like that, I just feel like it's completely out of place. I know that it's the idea of a marathon game to be random on, on everything, right, but I don't know, dude. Many fun games have a not fun game section in them. This game is just all not fun game section. Exactly. Th that's the problem. Like having one section where there is a specific gimmick that is not... It's not about I wanna be the guy fun games. That's fine. Having one section to be odd, to be different. I don't mind that. But when literally everything... Well... Not literally everything, but when most of the game it's about non-fun game mechanics, it's like why is it even a fun game in the first place? Yeah, I know it's free. It uses the guy as the main characters. It has deadly apples, yes, but you know, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being too picky. I don't know. It is what it is. But apparently I'm not... Um, it's not a surprise for me to have unpopular opinions on, on fan games since... As I said before, for a lot of people not another needle game is a 10 out of 10 fan game and to me that game uh, was just not good. And that, that could be justified for saying that I don't like Needle, but I don't know. It feels like even people that don't like Needle recognize that that game is a good fun game. And to me, I don't know, it, it was just bad. 
but you know, whatever. It is what it is. Then again, I'm a complete novice that I want to be the guy fan game, so obviously you shouldn't take what I say, you know, with too much value, but I don't know. I guess you can you can think of this as the impressions of a complete novice. So being a novice to I wanna be the guy fan games, that's what I think about this fan game. Feel like if you're gonna have a lot of things that are not even fan game related, I I mean I don't feel there is any reason to do that. But whatever. One of the guys many things to many people, one of them was the difficulty, which is why some have a bullet hell section at the end. It makes it tougher because everyone who is good enough to get there is a good precision platformer and not necessarily a shoot em upper, but now they have to be. It makes sense that it might not tickle your fancy. Yeah, I know, I know. I understand. It's just that, you know, games like this one, or, you know, the games like this one or not another needle game it seems like they are universally agreed to be really really good games and again I know I'm a novice so I'm only seeing this through through the eyes of a, of a novice but I don't really feel like it's the case <laughs> Hipster. If I was a hipster, I would say that Boshi fucking sucks. And I don't say that. Actually, now that I think about it, you might be right because most of the people that I seen in the I wanna be the guy fan game community had say that Boshi is not that good. And to me, Boshi was amazing. So now that I think about it, yeah. I might be secretly a hipster here too, but unintentionally. Then again, you gotta remember that I'm more of a shoot em up guy than, than a fun game guy, obviously. So my views are also different, just, you know, taking that into account. Do you think of yourself as a fan gamer of a fan game tourist? I don't know. I just think of myself as a guy that likes playing video games. Fan games are one of the video games I play, but I mean, not like I'm a fan gamer or anything like that. Just play a couple of them. I'm not passionate enough to be like. Well, in, in that case, I guess that your description fits. I guess I... Yeah, fan game tourist. I guess that's a good way to call it. Yeah, now that I think about it, it might be a good way to call it. A fan game tourist. Yeah, it's probably what I am. Probably what I am. Shoot him up gun. But despite all of that, I think that your community seems to be pretty welcoming. Which is what I like. Because on every community that I have uh, uh, put a, a, feet, a, a foot on, uh, it basically didn't leave a good impression. Not like it's precisely bad. But I feel like the I wanna be the guy community, despite what Draenot says, because Draenot doesn't seem to be too happy about the community, but I personally haven't had many problems with the I wanna be the guy community at all. So at least I like that. Um, sadly, I can't say the same about Toho. Though, calling the Toho community trash wouldn't be right, because that would mean that, I mean, the Toho community is huge. 
but at least the Twitch side of it, I don't know. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's just that the amount of dumb shit that I had to read in different uh, chats on Toho streams, including my own chat, by the way. My like, it's not like my chat is excluded from that. Uh, is it's pretty interesting. Fun gamers like this, because it's a bit of fresh air for them, they get to play other games with their comfortable control shim of double chump physics. I understand what you say, but I don't think that even applies to this game. The double chump control shim that you mentioned is not even present in this game in most of the sections. I mean, it's not there on the Doom section, it's not there on the Undertale section, it's not there in the Terraria section. Uh, well, it's there in the Kirby section, but barely, because you can't even shoot properly. Like You, you have those weird power-ups, you're only able to shoot through them. So I'm not even sure if if it will fit that description. I feel like that's my main issue. It's not that the gimmicks are here, it's just that the gimmicks make the game so different. If they were soft gimmicks, like for example, the Super Meat Boy gimmick of this fun game is pretty nice. It's pretty nice, because it barely changes anything, it just gives you infinite wall shun. Which yes, it's a big change, but... It's within the, the standards of, of the game, right? Fuck. Oh, damn it. Fucked it up. The Mean Boy gimmick is my favorite. Yeah, it's also my favorite in this game because it's the one that changes the least from, from you know, the classic I wanna be the guy, right? It just gives you wall jump. That's it. So, yeah, it is also my favorite because of that. It's something I want to talk about in my article. Most of the shot em up communities of the Psycho Rap Spike, which is just the player who plays to win. I think the Toho Spy community treats everyone like a spy, which can be toxic. Uh, I think the Toho community has bigger problems than wanting to win. Like for example, for starters not playing the games. <laughs> That's already a big problem, you know. Being part of a video game community and not even playing the fucking games. That's already a problem in itself. And again, I'm not saying that everyone who is interested in Toho has to play the games, but as I mentioned before multiple times in other streams, there are people that talk about Toho games as if they knew what they were talking about. And I'm not even talking about lore and all that bullshit that I don't give a shit about. I'm talking about people that are like, oh, <laughs> I know I'm gonna say the same example as I always put, but Reimu A is the only viable character to beat subterranean animism on Lunatic. Yeah, that's the kind of shit. That's the kind of shit that pisses me off. People not knowing what the fuck they are talking about. Talking as if they were sure. That's the problem. I don't mind if people don't want to play the Toho games. Danmaku games are not a popular genre and for a good reason. But when you have people that don't play the games talk about the games, that what really pisses me off. Because that's how misinformation starts spreading, right? So yeah. Is it still salty? Of course I still salty. As the secondary community, not necessarily. 
I wouldn't say that that's necessarily the case. I mean, usually what people call secondary... I, I don't like that word, by the way, but... What people call secondary are people that are not interested in the games at all. They just care about the fan art or other things like music arrangements and shit. And that's fine. I don't have any problem with those. I have the problem with those that pretend to play the games but they don't play shit. That's the problem. Hey Yannick, how is it going? <laughs> Marisa B all the way. Yeah, Marisov is pretty nice. Also, I know that the answer is probably yes, but is the music still going? It probably is, but I just want to know. I just want to be sure. When I need Toho advice, I'm not going to Toho this car. I'm going to shoot him up this car. Yeah, pretty much. It was an IN extra stage period so Martha and the English commentator was a secondary who spread a lot of misinformation like you're saying. Yeah, I, I think that that's the, the main issue. But you know people are gonna be people. It's not really something you can do much about right there. But it's not also that, there is a lot of, a lot of things about the Toho community in general. In general! Again, I'm not talking shit about every single person that considers themselves a Toho fan. Just talking shit in a general sense, right? And, you know... Th there are really a lot of attitudes that I don't like. Like, you know... Oh, damn, the controls are reversed, by the way. In case you are you were curious, moving left moves me to the right and moving right moves me to the left. Just in case you wanted to know. Oh, fuck me, it's still pretty hard to, to not fuck it up. You say no miss, no one was the pick of shooting a play and they understand who all is cool. We kill the timeout card, which is the biggest time save. Well, if it makes him feel better, I also don't know that. But, yeah, at least I'm not a commentator. I mean, no miss, no bomb. Whatever is the pick, is what you set yourself to, 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 to do, right? There is no pick, or no universal pick at least. I mean, I understand what he was trying to go for, but... Wow, are you fucking kidding me there? For real, you're gonna... Alright, nice, nice. Pretty, pretty nice. Shouldn't matter, we'll say it will be scoring. Yeah, I personally couldn't give less of a shit about scoring, if I gotta be honest. I wouldn't say that anything is any pick, because whatever the pick performance, if you wanna call it that way, is what you set yourself to do, right? So if you give your if you give yourself the objective of doing lunatic no miss no bomb then yes obviously that's gonna be your pick. But if you set yourself the objective of getting the world record score for a specific Toho game then that's gonna be your pick. So there there is no pick. It's just something completely subjective and personal. You have all that high level scoring, you know, or shoot him out, you sometimes have a loop to last boss. Yeah, it depends also on which Dan Maku game we're talking about, really. But... Yeah. As I was saying before, there are many things that I don't like about... 
Turtle community in general. Spreading misinformation is one of them, but there are a lot more. It seems like, for whatever reason, uh, lately at least, I've seen that there's... A, I mean, I, I know that this is present in every community, right? This is not something new... Like, not something exclusive of the Toho community, but I've seen that lately there's been a lot of immature people joining the community. I am tempted to say kids, but sometimes they might not even be kids. They might be just people that suck. <laughs> like, that's it. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do. If I'm gonna be teleported by going there, am I supposed to go down or what? But if I go down, I, I can't go up there. Like, I'm supposed to let this Yoshi live. But who am I supposed to let it live? If as soon as I jump there, I'm gonna be teleported to the left side of the screen. Right? So, and he cannot survive that at all. I don't get it. I don't get what I'm supposed to do there. My toxic example is there was a DRC where the person who made the rubric for survival made it too hard for most people. And when they complained, they stay. They started saying that survival doesn't matter. That shit pissed me off. Uh, you will have to tell me what DRC is first. <laughs> To be able to understand what that whole sentence means. Dodging rain competition. Man, uh, I mean, uh, it, it's not to talk shit about you, Simu, in particular, but there are so many stupid acronyms. Holy shit. Why would you make an acronym for that? What's the point? Like, nobody will be able to guess that unless you are already on that forum. Again, I'm not saying it's your fault. I'm just saying that it's dumb. <laughs> For example, survival rubric will work differently in BDP. <laughs> the Democratic Republic of China? Damn. If that's the case, I hope they didn't hear me talk shit about it the other day. Though, in all honesty, I haven't talked shit about China. I have talked shit about the government of China, which is different. Chinese people are fine. Well, I mean, obviously, for the most part, right? We all have our bad apples in our own countries. I'm just saying that your government is trash. But that's not your fault. Especially considering that it, it's as democratic as, you know, fucking as a monarchy. <laughs> so yeah, basically, I know it's not your fault that your government is trash. So don't worry about it. Um, everyone says what game and mode. And they are pair up to compete against a rubric. Uh, can I ask what a rubric is? Maybe that's a word that I don't know in English, but I, I just don't know what rubric is supposed to mean. It's just an old boy showing my age. have a different experience than me. I'm used to being in Toho chat where everyone says there is a right and wrong way to play. Um, I don't know. Well, the, the thing about why... I don't know what to do there. What, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Am I not supposed to go that way? And if I'm not supposed to go that way, the fuck am I supposed to do? Okay, I'm gonna try going the other way without Yoshi. I don't know. 
You're not really making it obvious what I'm supposed to do. So, fuck you and let's go this way. Maybe this is the right way. Probably not. Oh, it is the right way. Huh. Well, that's bullshit. I mean, I found out about it, but it's still bullshit. At least now we know what to do. So we kill this motherfucker, go the left side, and then when we get warped on the right side of the screen, we double shun. And as soon as we don't get warped again, that should work. Um, the rubric is like a scored card, so for survival everyone will start with 100 points and every day is minus 10 and every bomb is minus 3. I see. Yeah, I had no idea about that. See, here's the thing. The reason why I usually don't have that problem is because I don't give a shit most of the times about... Or at least I try not to give a shit about the the Toho community in general. Problem is, obviously, when I'm streaming, I mean, they are gonna come. What can I expect, of course? I mean, my stream is public, so of course it is expected for them to, to actually come and commentate on, on what I'm doing and everything. But, yeah, when that happens, I usually choose one to Sometimes, not every time, but sometimes when I read my Toho chat, obviously my I don't have any problem with my regulars. Like people who are regular in my chat, they are okay in my book. But sometimes the Toho chat is so bad that makes me want to stop playing. So yeah. And the worst part is that well, if they actually did something worthy of a ban, at least I will be able to ban them and be done with that. Sadly, they don't do anything bannable. Well, I don't know if I should say sadly. I mean, at least they kinda behave. It's just that... I don't like them. <laughs> That's it. No other way to say it. Just don't like them. What can I do? But it's not the worst offender. When I was talking to all different communities, uh, when I was, you know, streaming games, uh, um, the Puyo Puyo community was way worse. Can you believe that the fucking Puyo Puyo community can be worse? A game about clearing Puyos can have a community that sucks. But then again, I shouldn't really talk shit about the community itself. They were just probably a couple of bad apples that leaked into my chat. And obviously they gave me a bad impression, but it doesn't necessarily mean that, that the whole community is bad. It's just that every person that plays Puyo Puyo that I know, except for I think AC Borsha that plays Puyo Puyo, and I think Draino plays Puyo Puyo too. Like, except for those, everyone that I seen that plays Puyo Puyo didn't leave me a good impression of themselves. So, yeah. Nice, there we fucking go, Jesus. Um, everyone was on teams and they made a survival car, so you need an ear, no miss, no bomb, or you got negative points. No one watches when I play Toho, so I don't have this problem. Well, the thing is... It's mostly about... I mean, I'm not saying that they are bad or anything. It's just that I personally don't like them. That's it. Doesn't mean that they are bad or anything. Just don't like them. And it's fine. I mean, as I said before, it will be easy. It would be easy if they were bad, because if they did something really shitty, I could just ban them. 
it. They don't do anything bad. I just don't like them. That's it. I mean, you are allowed to not like someone, right? You are. I just don't like them. It is what it is. So you have. I have to stand them because I don't want to ban without a a just reason. So yeah, it's pretty painful. You believe that fucking Puyo Puyo community exists? I mean, I can believe that. What I cannot believe is that such a small community, you know, makes you not want to fucking play the game again. You know, when I was playing Puyo Puyo, I was playing through the through the story mode, right? And the story mode is basically, you know, you you just fight against the AI. Nothing rare and all of a sudden in my chat. I had people saying hey, do you want to 1v1 me? Even though it was clear that I was a complete novice at the game people wanted to 1v1 me as if I was I don't know the the, the Roger Federer of Puyo Puyo, right? And I'm like no, no, thanks. I'm playing the story mode now and it would have been fine if, if, if it would have been only one time, like, you know, maybe they, they just weren't aware that I'm not interested at all, even though it was pretty fucking clear that I was just playing the story mode. But they kept insisting. That's the fucked up part. Like, it wasn't enough for me to tell them, hey, I'm gonna, you know, play the story mode first and then maybe we can do 1v1s. I still haven't finished the story mode and they keep reminding me of the 1v1 and I'm like, shut up, dude. I want to 1v1 your ass. Not even good at the game, why would you even want to 1v1 me? Like, I mean, I, I understand that a lot of people love winning, even when you win against a complete novice like I was, and like I still am at Puyo Puyo. But like, what's the point? Like, you know you're gonna win. You know that I'm a noob. So, why do you get gratification of beating someone in those conditions? But it is what it is. And then, I don't know why, I don't know what triggered them so much. But they were having like a conversation against one of my regular viewers, Draynaut. And I don't know what Draynaut said, he didn't say anything offensive or anything insulting. And when one of the Puyo Puyo guys answered him, they called him a, a groundhog. You know, a groundhog as an insult, right? And I'm like, what? And then I had to ask Draynaut, hey, did you say something to this guy before? Because he seems triggered for no reason. So maybe you know him from before, right? Maybe you say something to him while I wasn't looking and I'm not getting the full story. But no, he was triggered for no fucking reason. So yeah, basically my point with all of this shit that I'm saying right now is that... The, I wanna, like, you know, the, the big argument that I wanted to make is that the I wanna be the guy community has been the, the most welcoming and the most polite community I've been by far. So far! I know that there is always room for me getting surprised and or disappointed, I know. But you know, so far, the fan game community have been the more... The most civilized, uh, ci no, civil. Well, the the, the most chill uh, community so far. I know that Draino disagrees with me, and I mean he has been around the community for way longer, obviously, than me. So he probably knows why he has that opinion. But at least to me, I'm fine. What the f Man. I didn't want to say this, but I'm gonna say it. Fuck this game. Yes, I said it. There you go. Are you angry? 
If you hear me, you hear me say it, I say it. Um, Fungi community is great. Yeah, civilized. Civilized. So far, it's really been the, the, the best community, at least on Twitch. I'm obviously not participating in forums or anything like that, but on Twitch, it's been the most chill one. <laughs> Gabby, say the word. Hey, what word? Hey, be careful because depending on which word, Twitch is not gonna be happy about that. So careful. Because maybe some Twitch moderator is gonna come here and it's gonna be like, oh, what word did this streamer say? And then you're gonna say, oh, he say the F word. And he's gonna think I say the other F word. The one that is forbidden. And... You don't want that to happen. <laughs> fool? Yeah, fool. That's a pretty strong word. What about the shoot em up community? I don't know. I mean, usually when I play shoot em ups that are not Toho, nobody other than my usual crew gives a shit about them, so I wouldn't be able to tell you. Wow, I should have expected that, but damn. Hey, twist stuff, keep watching and find out. Uh, you know, I, I already said this before, but there is a streamer and a pretty, well, I don't know if I should say pretty popular, but a streamer with a pretty sizable amount of viewers that got banned just for saying the F word. And not even the full version, he said the short version and he still got banned. And I'm pretty sure he also didn't say it in a, in a homophobic context, but you know. As you know, nowadays the context doesn't matter. So yeah. For the short version, yeah. What's the short version? Well, I don't think there is a difference though. Because different from the other word, like, you know, the N word, right? The N word has different meaning depending on if it's the short or the long version. I'm pretty sure the F word is the same regardless of if it's short or long. It means the same thing. And it has the same connotation. I'm pretty sure. Short version is the same as long, yeah. In that case, it is. It is the same as long. The end word in that case is different because that one is different, depending on the long and short version. But yeah, the F word is is pretty much the same. It's just that the short version is easier to say. That's it. Russia, we are using short version to represent diehard fanboy. <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean, it doesn't matter the reason why you use it. For Twitch and many other online platforms, just using it is bad, regardless of the context, which is bullshit to me. But hey, there are rules. It's the rules. What can I say? I mean, it's their rules, so they can do whatever they want. But I still feel that it's completely dumb to forbid a word, regardless of the context. I mean, words are, are words. What matters when it comes to words is the intention behind them, not the word itself. But whatever, I mean, Twitch 
doesn't care. Uh, are we talking about cigarettes? Yeah, the C word has a, a short version which is SIG. But no. I don't think we're talking about cigarettes. They're gonna commit to me, reckon. Alright. Have a good night, Riemann. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you can dream nice things. Short death word can mean cigarettes in some countries. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that actually. Interesting. No, I, I I was completely unaware. Yeah, when it comes to slangs, it, it's pretty hard to be aware of slangs unless they are more universally adopted because, well, as you can see, English is not my first language. Wait, did the music change? It did change. Nice, alright, alright. Let, let me actually have music now that it changed and I don't have to suffer that fuckery. So, okay, now I have sound activated. Ooh. Is that a black hole? No, that's not a black hole. That's a lot of trembling. Oh, an apple? Damn. Delicious fruit. Yeah. Oh, that's the boss. Alright. Damn. This also sounds like guilty here, right? I think. I know that nothing... Like, you know, not a everything that is instrumental heavy metal is guilty here, but this sounds like it. Oh, this is survival. I think. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, come on. That was horse shit. Castlevania. Oh, I see. It's more of power metal. Yeah, I know it's power metal, but whatever. Well, I don't know. I mean, kinda. Wait, that was pretty fast. Why was that so fast? Alright. Oh, shit. Wait, what? Okay. This is pretty hard to follow, you know. Wait, where? Okay. I suppose. I don't know if I'm even supposed to shoot, honestly. Oh, alright, that was pretty fair. Apple with spell cars? Yeah, it seems like that's the case. I guess if you should stay right next to the spike, it's pretty easy to, to hurt the apple. If you spam quite a lot. Yeah, it works. Ah, fucking Kirby apples. I don't even think I'm supposed to bother shooting right there. Uh oh. Uh. Hey Miku. Where is it going? I'm probably supposed to. Uh. Alright. Am I supposed to shoot? Maybe not. <laughs> All right.
Yeah, I am supposed to shoot there. Oh, those curvy apples fucking suck. God damn it. Yeah, nice done, Malcolm. You know, all these fucking Miku avoidances are making me want to play actual Miku avoidances. And that might be a bad idea. But they are really making me want to try them. So that's a problem. Because I know it's going to be a bad idea. So what can I do? They are really making me want to do it. Oh, that started way sooner. Well, probably it wasn't sooner, but you know what I mean. Shut up. Mm. I like these curvy apples. And the attack continues too, huh? They are even curvy here. Oh, this shit again. And yeah, now I recognize this uh, as Castlevania a little bit. Well, at least you didn't switch to Miku that time. That was horseshit. That was fucking horseshit. That was fucking horseshit. That was impossible to see. Jesus. I can tell you're a tourist because you want to do the Miku avoidances. I mean, yeah. They look fun at least here. I don't know. Maybe that's just a lie. Maybe that's just an illusion. Or maybe... I don't know. Oh, fuck. Sadly... That Miku section, the problem is that it's long. It's not that it's hard. But it's a little bit annoying when a static section like that is so long. Seems like the attacks are like which attack the apple picks is complete RNG. That's good to know too. I thought they had a specific order, but no, seems like it's complete RNG. Oh. I shumped! Too late, maybe. This can be so dangerous. This curvy pattern, especially with these quote unquote glitches. Yeah, it can take you by surprise in a pretty bad way. I'm assuming that here is where Miku arrives. Oh, 
you remain in the same place, it doesn't even matter. Like, sure, the bullets disappear, but you're in the same exact... Okay, fuck you. We're gonna get me early here, huh? Well... Sure, why not? At least she's actually shooting this from her mouth. At least it's more... It's less decent than the one in the previous marathon game. I hate those curvy apples. They are fun if they are done well. Most of the ones I have done in the Savage MTN challenge are really bad clones of the Love Trap Miku, which is awful. Yeah, I guess it really depends on if you can get your hands on good Miku avoidances. I'm not sure. to climb a platform. Well, I climb one right at the end. But the Kirby apples are still a, a problem. This shit is so dangerous. This shit is so dangerous. Like... <laughs> this is gonna fucking suck. This is gonna suck because you know that I'm gonna die to that one a lot of times. I really feel like the worst part about this is that every time you die you have to smoke that Miku section. Which is not bad, it's just that I don't wanna hear Miku fucking sing. Every time, you know. At least not that song. Miku has better songs. Come on, bro. I know it's supposed to be a show. But come on. Savage Mountain of Shit. If you do a Miku avoidance, you will hear Miku sing. Well, as I said, I don't mind uh, listening to Miku sing. The problem is that if you put a song that fucking sucks, it's gonna be a problem. I mean, I don't mind listening to, I don't know, um, World is Mine or whatever Miku song that you can think of that doesn't involve ear rape or annoying vocals. Though, I know that for a lot of people, anything that a Vocaloid does is annoying, but to me... There are, you know, some pretty good Vocaloid songs. this song is called I know that there is a song where Miku 
does this kind of shit, but it's not this one, I'm pretty sure. Or is... Or this mine is like ear rape to me. On my favorite Miku song. Yeah, I understand. But, you know... I guess it also depends on how it's used, right? Maybe. That curvy pattern is gonna get me so many times. You're thinking of the disappearance of Hatsune Miku with the song from the Love from Miku. Yeah, the, the, the one I was actually talking about that I knew that it wasn't that one, but the one that comes to my mind when I think of Vocaloid Ear Rape is one that is called I think the amazing voice of Hatsune Miku or some shit like that. That one fucking sucks. But I think it's supposed to suck. It's intentional. Maybe. That killed me? Are you serious that that killed me? Alright. High E, high B, yeah. It might be that one. I don't know. Probably. Pretty interesting that they've been able to do a lot of shit in this, in this marathon, except for having decent looping. What's wrong with that? Is it that hard to loop songs in a way that it perfectly loops? I mean, I know that it's probably not easy, but it shouldn't be that hard, right? I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, because i never done it. I don't even know how it's done, so maybe I'm completely wrong, but it shouldn't be that hard. Oh, three spikes. Oh shit, side switch? Are you gonna die? Uh, please don't do this to me. I was hoping that he wouldn't do this. I was really hoping that he was gonna... This attack is trash. Let me just tell you that this attack is fucking trash. Just let me tell you that. Just wanted to let you know that that attack is trash. And this is the first one he does, what an asshole. 
Thing Game Maker has trouble with that, so all games lag on music loops. The guys that made it should be able to do that better. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I obviously don't know how hard it is to do, because I never made a game and I really don't have any plans to do that either, so... Yeah. Well, the good thing is that I'm assuming, or at least I'm hoping I should say that this is the final boss of the game. So at least this should be over quote unquote soon, as long as this attack fucking stops killing me. That's already a little bit hard to achieve. Gonna be over soon, Gabby. Don't worry about it. The suffering won't last for too long, hopefully. I can't believe I died there, though. But, you know, the thing is, if this is indeed the final boss of the game, I reaffirm what I said before. I don't like this game. But it is what it is, you know. It can be for everyone, but I just don't like it. It's fine, hopefully the next two marathon games... Hopefully I will like them, though someone say that the issue is that they follow what this game do, which is using a lot of gimmicks. Obviously, <laughs> gimmicks have nothing to do with this final boss, obviously. It's just that it's, it's just, you know... Turns out that the final boss has this attack. You know, the problem with this attack is that if you're gonna do a curvy attack like this, at least allow me to see what's coming. Because if you're gonna do that shitty glitch effect, it's gonna be pretty hard to see what's coming. And it, it's not a problem if it will be linear, because if it's linear, it's easy to predict whether that shit is um, is glitchy or not, but making this curvy like that, like, no. <laughs> it's already, it will be already hard to dodge if it wasn't glitchy. You have to make it glitchy. So I just have no chance of consistently dodge it. Whatever. It is what it is. And also, as I say before, what I don't like is, you know, this Miku section is cool, but having it every single time you die, it's like, no, i seen it once, that's fine, it was funny the first time, kinda, but, like, one, once is already enough. No, every time you die, you're gonna have that. Whatever. And it's incredible how Aaron Sheik can really change this fight a lot. Because if that attack that Hishus did 
happens every time, it's gonna be incredibly easy to win. But if he mixes me up with the Kirby Apples attack, it's gonna be pretty hard. This attack is not that bad at least. I mean, the Miku part is a little bit tough, but when Miku stops appearing, it's not that tough. But if the, the Kirby laser the Kirby laser, sorry, I have Toho 12 PTSD, but if the Kirby apples appear, it's just like... Nah. Yeah, this attack, it, it's so much harder than any of the other two attacks, it's crazy. Miku avoidance will be 3 minutes of that every time you die. I just mean that in a sense that... It's obviously out of place for the battle, and that's the point, but like, it's one of those things that it's fine if you should show it once. Like, if you show it every time, instead of being funny or whatever, it ends up being annoying. Like, I saw it once, I get it. I understand. I get the show. After that one time I saw it, I don't want to see it again. Whatever. PSI kicking in. And of course, Yami will mention PSI. At least he didn't do the fucking Kirby attack. But I think he still has... Wow. Nice. Can't believe I actually died there. to Camellia 2 which has a good away avoidance section in each of its melee bosses. Alright, please don't get killed by this attack. Don't be a dumbass. This attack is not even hard, dude. Don't get killed by that. You're gonna get killed by something. Get killed by this. See, getting killed by this makes sense, but don't get killed by the other attack. Doesn't make sense. Twice in a row. Alright. How can you react to that? If you are so unlucky that the Kirby Apple is going right where you are, you can barely react to that. You just can't. With that glitchy shit, you can react to that. Because at this point it really feels like I'm depending solely on RNG to survive. At least on that attack, obviously not on the other two. But on that attack it really feels like RNG is the only thing that is keeping me from dying. And even if this attack has RNG, at least you can react to it, so it doesn't feel like RNG is the only thing that is keeping you from beating it or not, but the one that is Kirby... 
I don't know, bro. If it didn't have that glitchy shit, I, I could probably react to it in time. So, for example, there I got lucky and there I got unlucky. So, it really depends on me getting lucky. Because if I get unlucky, it's just incredibly hard to, to react to. Really feels like you're... You are depending on, on RNG on that one. Keep doing this one. Yeah, keep doing this one. Keep doing this attack. Just keep doing this one over and over again. Please, I beg of you, keep doing that one. Yes, it, that, like this, exactly like this. Please, just keep on, keep on going. I almost got killed there. Oh no, dude, not this one again. Keep it cool. Oh shit. Well. Dead. <laughs> Alright. Am I supposed to pick that up or is that gonna kill me? No, I was supposed to pick that up. Um. Damn. Well, hey, at least the Yoshis are here. All right. Well, that's all right. Sure. Um. She. She. Thanks. Thanks. Um. Well. Where are their heads? Um, I took care of them. Uh, don't worry about it. They are gonna be fine. I mean, look at them. They at least can move. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, as I say before, I didn't like this game. Uh, I feel like it has too many gimmicks for its own good. Uh, like, at times, it's like you're not even playing a fun game. You're literally playing other games. Um, and well, that, I didn't like that final boss either. Uh, for the reasons that I already said. That one is called Brony. Nice. Um, but yeah, what can I say? At least I beat it. So there is that. But I definitely prefer the the previous one ten times more than this one. That's for sure. Um, but hey, at least I hope that the other the other the, well the other two marathon games that are left are gonna be more interesting or uh, not more interesting. I feel that I will like them more really hope that I can like them more uh, but yeah um, though judging by what Draenot said about the fact that the other two marathon games are also pretty gimmick based I don't know I don't know what to what to think but I will still try them at least I hope that the gimmicks are not too over the top like this one, but I wouldn't know. A winner is you. Yay. And 
We have infinite balls. Damn, infinite balls. Not just two. Wow. I wonder if this eventually will crash the game or if they actually have a spawn limit. That would be interesting to know. It's pretty weird that it doesn't say how many deaths and what the overall time is, but hey, it will say it on the on the save selection screen anyway. Yeah, I'm really, really curious to see what happens if you just let this play, but uh, no, nah. <laughs> fuck that. Not gonna wait that long. So if anyone was curious, there you have it. A thousand and a hundred deaths and five hours and 17 minutes I wonder what happens if I go to the oh it just loads the a winner is you screen all right, all right. well I guess that was it then